In this video, we'll look at how to create a test and test project that compares UI and API interactions. The previous video in this series sets the stage for this and challenges you to try it out on your own, so you may want to take a look at that video first. Now, let's look at combining together UI and API tests. Just to quickly review what we have here in this test, the first step here is an API call that searches for the term software testing, and then it finds the snippet in that search result and saves it into this first search result parameter. Then on the next step what we do is directly navigate to the software testing Wikipedia page and then in this step here we get the text from that page from the first paragraph and we save it into this paragraph text parameter. Now what we want to do is compare these two inputs. So we want to see if the paragraph text includes the snippet that we got from the API. So the first thing that we'll try is to add some validation to this paragraph step. We'll choose the text field here and then we'll set our validation type to contains and then what we want to check is that it contains the first search result. So we'll add that by clicking on this parameter here to add it into there and then we'll accept that change and we've added a validation to check that this contains the first search result. So now let's save this and then let's run the test until here and see what happens. Now we can see that this test step is red and if we look at the details here we can see that it has failed on the comparison and looking at this we can see that this API snippet has some extra stuff so it's got these span elements in it where it indicates that it's found the search result so let's see if we can remove these from the results so we'll close this and just add a new test step and we'll set the type here to action and then in the actions We'll search for regex and we'll use this replace substrings with regex action. For this, the source string is going to be a parameter. So let's go look at the parameters and the, the parameter that we'll use is our first search result as the source string. And then for the regular expression that we want to use, I'll just put in a regular expression here that will find all the HTML elements in the text and we'll leave the replacement as blank since we just want to get rid of the span. So let's go ahead and create this and then let's go into this step and let's actually make a output parameter as well that can store the result of this. So we'll create a new one and we'll call it API snippet with spans removed. Now we need to use that output parameter that we just created in our validation that we have on the get paragraph step. So let's just drag this step down so that it will run after we've done our substring replacement and then let's open it up and let's change the validation here. We don't want to check that it contains the first search result Instead, we want to check that it contains the API snippets with spans removed. So we'll add that, and we'll save this test step, and then run the test again to see what happens. Now we can see that it's still failing, and if we look at the details, it's because it contains this footnote in the paragraph text. So we'll need to remove that as well. So let's once again add another step and change the action type. But this time let's try using a different type of replacement. So we'll search here for replace. And we'll use the replace substrings option here. And then for the input string we're going to need to use a parameter. So we'll use our paragraph text as the input string. And then for the target, we'll just replace that first footnote. So we'll just search for bracket one bracket. And then we can save this into a result parameter. And once again, we'll need to create a new parameter for this. Let's call that parameter paragraph text without footnotes. We'll add that parameter and create this step and then we'll need to add some validation. Now we have validation on this paragraph step but we're going to remove it from here and instead we'll add validation onto a separate step. So we'll create a new step 
we'll change the type to action and we'll select an action let's search for contains and we'll look for the string contains action so in this case the input string is going to be the paragraph text without footnote so we'll choose that and the substring that we're going to look for is going to be the API snippet with the spans removed. So we want to check that the paragraph text without footnote string contains the API snippet. So we'll create this validation step and then we'll run the test in its entirety. And you can see that the test has passed and we've completed the challenge.